this is Novali and I have been working on a pepper bed for several hours over the past two days and I finally got them all in straight rows and everything. So here's something really interesting we have going on. These bigger peppers and they have you can see kind of a woodier stem like they're almost like real bushes and um, there you go. These ones were actually peppers that we grew last year, and I'm putting them in the ground to see how they work out. But we kept them in the greenhouse over the winter, and they thrive just fine, so I wonder if they'll be big fruit producers this year. I'm going to plant them right on in along with the new ones and see what happens. And note, after I plant each one, I do go ahead and stick the label in to show what kind it is. That way when we're coming in the garden to taste the different peppers we can see which ones we like best and remember which variety they are. Okay, so I found the spot for this one. It's the Hungarian Sweet Banana. It's right there. Get in there. Make a hole for him. And like I said, we're doing these other two rows with the plant success, soluble mycorrhiza. So take a pinch of that, put it in there. It's a lot finer than the other kind. There it goes. And I'm going to loosen up my sweet banana pepper. Whoever planted these had a really red soil with rocks in it doesn't match our compost at all. Aerate those roots. Plants love it. When they get in their new place, they can grow a lot easier. So, lower him in. Make sure all the roots are covered up nicely. And we'll water these guys as soon as we're done. And looking really good. have to show you the finished product next. So do notice every time that I plant a pepper before I put it in the ground I do what my friend Jason told me makes the plants really happy and that is to aerate the roots. And you want to be gentle when you do it. Don't break them or anything but get them nice and loosened up that they can find their way in their new soil. So we definitely want our plants to be happy. And last but not least, when you're done planting everybody, you can water. I have the hose on not too strong of a setting. So you try to water down at the base of the plant. You don't need to get all the leaves wet or anything. In fact, if it's still sunny out, you especially don't want to get the leaves wet because that can cause them to burn. So just water low to the ground and get everybody a little bit of water to their root system so they can start growing in their new environment. So this is what we've got so far and there's still some space at the end of the bed so it looks like it's time to go searching for some more peppers. Okay so one more time we're gonna find the middle of these two peppers and then align it with this row here, which should be right there. Dig my little hole. It's just about that deep is good. Sprinkle in the like ghosts, about that much, right in there. Take my plant. This guy's a lipstick. ease them out of there and then and you do this with two hands if you weren't holding a camera but be gentle and loosen up all the soil that's bound up around the roots oops sorry little guy and in he goes try to stand him up straight and fill the soil in around him and you don't want to pack him in really tight, just firmly so that he stands up straight. 
and so that when you water, he doesn't get all disoriented. The soil wants to be firm enough that it's not going to totally let the plant fall over when you water it. Okay, so make a whole row of mycos from extreme gardening and then we'll do the last two rows on that side with the new stuff. Alright, so it took a long while, but check out this pepper bed. It's complete. So this is Novali, and that was the process of putting in a pepper bed, and I hope you try it at your house next.